the struggle is real in these streets trying to navigate <laughs> where to go during covid i had my plans laid out and then of course stuff started to change this week literally have no idea where we're going next or what we're going to do good morning good morning you guys it is another day out here in Toronto. um we're going back to tony's for breakfast well lunch because we just got out we were trying to do some laundry and the struggle is real in these streets trying to navigate <laughs> where to go during covid i had my plans laid out and then of course stuff started to change this week literally have no idea where we're going next or what we're going to do we were supposed to leave tomorrow i think i'm going to need to extend it and figure my life out so info on that coming soon Okay, so we had lunch. It was, oh my God, it was so good. And I can see why they get such rave reviews on TripAdvisor and they have the TripAdvisor best of 2021. <laughs> but it is so good. The meal that Kalel and I had was the special for the day. I have no idea what it was. We just saw it on somebody else's table. I asked the guy about it and he said they do that for two hours every day. They serve the special and it's super inexpensive and super yummy. So now, yeah, it's freezing. Now we're heading to the museum, the National Museum, to check it out, learn some more about the history. And then when I get back, I need to figure out our lives because we need to leave tomorrow with nowhere to go. Countries, you know, shutting their borders again. So we we'll probably have to extend our stay. I guess we'll, we'll all find out what we do together because I don't know what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> But the good thing is, um, Americans get one year in Albania, so, you know, if something happens, I have one year here. I'm not saying a year, I'm just saying it's not like our visa is expiring or anything, so. There's no rush until April to go back to the States for the AP exams for Kalel, so we're fine for now. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're at the National Museum and apparently it's closed right now. Um, the Rona hit us again. <laughs> okay, I'm tired of this virus. Okay, like it's just ridiculous at this point. But yeah, so it's closed. We're going to go try the archaeological museum that's down the way and see if that's open. And of course, nothing was updated online. Like this is the only country we've been... I don't know, it's kind of like back in time, I want to say, because like with the bus system, um, Google does not have the routes, so you have no idea which bus to take to get to anywhere whatsoever. So you have to rely on asking locals like which bus to get to such and such, because you have, there's just no table or anything for where buses go, or which number bus or color bus goes, you know, wherever. Or you just have to, you know, rely on other people that's been here before, other tourists, and they'll tell you like okay this is the bus you take and then with um certain things like everywhere is cash you can't find information online for like the museums and stuff sometimes so it's a, yeah it's just like <laughs> going back in time it's fine and everything is just you know a little different so we just have to get used to it so now we're gonna go try to see if we can check out the other museum hopefully it's open otherwise it was a nice walk. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we are at zero for two. The archaeological museum is closed. Even though Google says it's open, the guy at the front says it's closed. Uh, we should come back tomorrow. I don't know why it's closed. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Nothing is being updated on Google. Everything shows open and going. And then when you get there, it's like, oops, not today. You can't come in. So we have no museums to do today. So that's a little, you know, sad. So we've just been walking around literally. Um, probably just go grab a snack, maybe some wine, because I, I, I need me a little something, something at this point. <laughs> and I like a snack or something. And just relax. That is how it is sometimes. You know, things happen and you just go with the flow. So we are in the mall. Um, it is so beautiful in here. After walking around earlier, we decided to come in, check it out. The kids are getting some ice cream and I'm getting alcohol. I told y'all I need me a drink. So this is what it looks like in here. It is super cute up in the food section. And I did get some clip, I believe, of the mall itself, but it's so pretty. And it's pretty quiet. It's not packed or anything. I like this. So like I mentioned earlier, things are changing. It is the Rona time, of course. So you, you know, you're traveling like we are, you are prepared for things to happen. So of course, you know, it is a little bit um, stressful sometimes, but as long as you know you have your plans or you have options, you gotta have a plan B, C, all the way to Z, just in case something happens. So like I said, we do get one year in Albania with US passports. So if you're looking to come visit this country, just know that you can stay here for a while, you know, make a life and chill if you need to. So we did go ahead and rent a new Airbnb. This is the new one that we moved into. It is awesome. It is huge. So we're just going to stay here for now until things um, start changing again, which one of the countries literally yesterday changed their rules again to where we're able to enter because we chose two countries that we would go instead one you needed vaccine within six months it doesn't matter if it's the booster or the second shot it has to be less than six months and the next one needs everyone entering including little kids to have the vaccine so yeah <laughs> but then things change again so like i said things keep changing we gotta be flexible so we're gonna run out this airbnb rental that we're doing now and then if everything stays the same we'll continue on our journey because so far it looks like we can just pick up where we left off just by spending a couple more days in tirana so we just moved into the new airbnb um i did a clip and i'll insert it before this audio <laughs> um yeah like I, I was saying we moved because the other place was just small the host wasn't responsive so i wasn't trying to extend my stay there and this new place is huge like i don't even think the pictures or videos will do it justice how big it is and it is in a really nice area we found this chicken place it's called the chicken shop so we came for lunch and it's like just walking distance everything is in walking distance pretty much and we're still almost the same um walking distance away from the square 
so it's you know we, we went maybe three four minutes further but that's that's nothing and this place is so much better and it has elevator you guys remember I'm, i was always saying the older buildings in these some of these countries no elevator but this is a new building it has elevator <laughs> it is secure you have the key card to get in and everything so i'm excited about that so yeah we're just gonna eat some lunch go back um finish getting some work done and then we're gonna go to the mall later because the kids want to go play gaming what you want to do what, what kind of gaming could be the 4k they can play games on it's like oh, oh they're just geeking out nerdy so we're gonna go back to the mall and chill later so yeah and they're already saying they want to stay longer so we might just scrap some of our plans and stay a little bit longer in Toronto see what's happening So we had lunch, it was super good. Um, it is a nice little local shop. It was not expensive. So we're gonna probably use that again, especially when we don't feel like eating out or whatever, we can just pop down, grab it and go back home. <laughs> so we're just gonna go look in this mall right here. Two seconds walk from where we are. See what it is. If it's like the mall that we saw yesterday. You see what my kid did? He literally wrote a code to mimic me because everything they say, I tell them I'm gonna put my foot up there. ASS. <laughs> so he literally wrote a code in Roblox. My kids are a mess, I can't stand them. So, this is what we got for breakfast this morning. I have no idea what it is, it's just a puff pastry type thing and it's crispy on the outside and nice on the inside and it has cheese it was 40 lek so that's like 30 something cents and it's so good it's simple and good so it's like a dough filled with cheese and then baked to perfection so it is saturday and we're going back to the mall again because last night the kids get didn't get to play the computer games that they wanted to play because the party rented the space so we're going back today and it is such a beautiful day it is not cold it is actually pretty warm we're getting used to the cold <laughs> because now we're like yeah it's not cold it's nice and warm don't even need a jacket in this weather but um yeah so we just grabbed the breakfast on the go had some coffee earlier grabbed some pastry super inexpensive i guess we need to do some more of that trying to eat the local shops 40 leg or and then Kalel got a pizza slice for a hundred lek, which is like a dollar ninety cents. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. We're almost there! Yay! Such a pretty day, though. So the kids are all in their element they got their computers like they're just geeking out i don't know but <laughs> they have an hour to play they're gonna yes they do have these games on their laptops at home but apparently it's not a gaming pc that you know a gazillion whatever it is so they're enjoying this so i'm gonna probably go sit and grab some coffee like everybody else <laughs> and relax for the next hour. I'll probably try this place over here. 